Oh, hello. I'm Dabby45, and welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna go dinosaur hunting. So the dinosaur I'm looking for today is the Elastomosaurus. Now they're known to be inside watery areas, most likely the ocean. However, I'm taking a different approach. I'm looking in some grasslands. Now why would I look in the grasslands? Because no one would ever think to look in the grasslands for the Elastomosaurus. Now come along with me as I look for this prehistoric creature. So as I begin this journey, I will be looking around for any possible water sources that could contain this prehistoric creature. So of course I have not seen anything yet, but I will tell you guys when it does come into frame. And I think we have it now. Here's a water source which could contain this elastomosaurus. So let's slowly walk up and I think I see it right in there. As you can see the elastomosaurus is dwelling within its home habitat. However, we will not be getting closer since it could be dangerous with these prehistoric wild animals. You never know when they could attack. So let's say you found the last of source and thank you all so much for joining me on this journey. So now I best get out of here because there is one creature that lives around these parts that is very dangerous if you come across it. It's known as the Good Dinosaur Movie. So if you ever see this creature, it's best just to go away and... Oh no, no. <laughs> Oh, well, now that I'm safe in my house, I can finally lay down, relax, and. Oh no. Every time I look into those dinosaurs' eyes, it's as if it's staring into my soul. I'm reviewing the movie The Good Dinosaur by Pixar. This movie looks at the idea of what if the asteroid that caused all the dinosaurs to be extinct to miss Earth and just let all the dinosaurs live on the Earth as if nothing were to happen. And then it brings us to this family of dinosaurs and the main dinosaur Arlo as he wants to make his mark onto the storage where the family of dinosaurs store all their food for the winter. In order to make his mark, Arlo's father gives him the task of killing the human that's been stealing their food. However, he doesn't want to kill it since he sees it as a living thing and lets him go. But when his father sees that he let the human go, Arlo and his father both go after the human to try to kill it. But when they realize that the stormy weather is too much for Arlo, they decide to go back. However, a flash flood does occur and Arlo's father saves Arlo, but he ends up passing away because of the flash flood. The passing of the father has caused the family of dinosaurs to have to work extra hard and collect all the food for the storage to last them for the winter. However, when Arlo does see the human, he does get upset at the human and tries to kill it like he should, thought he should have done at the first place. But in an attempt to kill this human, he falls into the river and goes downstream for a long ways. And he has to make his way back home to his family. Now in my opinion, this isn't really my favorite movie. It does have really great animation and the storyline is pretty decent. But when you compare it as a Pixar movie compared to the other Pixar movies, it's not really that noteworthy. Of course, it was great seeing all the different animals and dinosaurs that were around. And like seeing the human as if it was like a dog almost. It was an interesting take, however it just doesn't really attract to me and when I look at all the Pixar movies if I want to watch one, The Good Dinosaur is really like close to the bottom of my list of movies I want to watch when picking from these wonderful movies that Pixar has made. Now before you get mad at me, I don't hate this movie. I do have a good time whenever I watch this movie. It is a great adventure between Arlo the Dinosaur and Spot the Human. And it is interesting seeing all the different dinosaurs that do come along but they're not really too memorable and of course you only remember Spot and Arlo and everyone else is pretty forgettable even the main characters Arlo and Spot can be forgettable at times. Of course with the relationship between Arlo and Spot it's like that human dog relationship which I do appreciate having a dog of my own however since the human is the dog it's just not as relatable to me because of course I relate more to the human me being a human myself so relating to the dinosaur just isn't as easy when there's a human that's acting like a dog so it's a little weird but I do see the attempt of emotion that was made there but it just wasn't successful in my opinion. I did look at other reviews of this movie as well just to see what other people thought about it. Of course it didn't influence my opinion on it but what other people thought about it is that it was pretty good and that they liked it. And while I did enjoy some parts of it, of course it isn't my favorite movie. And that's okay because everyone's entitled to their own opinion. So if you love this movie and it's your favorite movie, that's okay. But for me, it's just not my personal favorite. I give this movie my final rating of a 5 out of 10. 
It's not the best movie ever made, but it's not the worst either. It is right in the middle in my opinion. And if you haven't seen it before and you are curious to see what it's about, I suggest that you do watch it just to see for yourself. However, if you don't watch it, you're not missing much. But of course, that's only my opinion. I'd love to hear what you think about this movie. Let me know in the comments whether you loved it or hated it, if you'd agree with me or disagree with me. Of course, you're entitled to your own opinion, So, and I'd love to see what they are, so just let me know in the comments what you thought about this movie. It looks like I survived my review of The Good Dinosaur, so now I'm going to pick my next movie from the cup. It looks like I got Inside Out. So join me next week as I watch the movie Inside Out. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you'd like to see on this channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.